day everyone. Welcome to Doctrine Channel, the full name of DJ Channel. Today we'll have episode 2 of DJ Tutorials, which highlights the commonly misused words in English. By the way, starting today, we will limit our pairs of words in the stream, as per request of my viewers to shorten the time of my video. And for this episode, we will discuss the following pairs of words we have adapt versus adapt, affect versus effect, afflict versus inflict. And for the first pair of words we have adapt and adapt. What is the difference between these two words? Okay. Adapt and adapt are both verbs. Both of them are verbs, but the difference is adapt means to adjust to a new situation or purpose. Well, adapt is a transitive verb. A transitive verb is a verb that needs or that has always an object to legally take something as your own or to accept an idea. Let's uh, take the following examples for you to understand better. Look, let's analyze each sentence. The movie was adapted from the true story. Adapted here is used because the movie needs to adjust from the true story. So the movie was adapted. The movie was adjusted from the true story. Number two, the city council adopted, we use adapt, a new resolution. Adapted here means accepted, a new resolution, accepted, a new idea, which is resolution. So the new the city council adopted a new resolution number three dr moron adopted a baby boy from korea so we use adapt why because adopted here means what it means dr moron they legally take a baby boy from korea as his own so adapted means adjusted from the true story, adopted a new resolution, accepted a new resolution, adopted a baby boy from Korea, means took legally a baby boy from Korea. Okay, let's see. What's the answer? What's the correct answer for the following? Let's try. How long would it take to blend to this culture? Is it adapt or adapt? So, we need to adjust to this new culture. It's like when you are going to visit one particular place, you need to adjust to the culture of that place. Therefore, we will use adapt. How long would it take to adapt to this culture? Number two, I am going to blank her after my graduation. I am going to take her legally after my graduation. So, we will use adapt. Number three, Jan Jan blank himself quickly to the new climates. We need to adjust to the new climates. The same, the same if you're going to visit one particular place, especially if that place is very cold. We need to adjust to the climate of that place. So, Jan Jan, adapts himself quickly to the new climates. Okay, so number one, the answer is adapt, adapt to this culture. Number two, adapt. I'm going to adapt her. Number three, Jan Jan adapts. Jan Jan adapts himself quickly to the new climates. For pair number two, we have affect and effect. What's the difference? Okay. It's very easy between these two words because one is a verb and one is a noun. Affect is a verb. Effect is a noun. Affect means to influence something. While effect is an influence, a result, an impact of something or someone. Okay. So, 
it's very easy to identify if you are asked to choose between the two, like for this example. J. Mark's advice would not affect my decision. Why they use affect? Why or why we use affect? Because our subject, J. Mark's advice, and there is a verb, would. Would is a helping verb. This is an auxiliary verb. It needs a main verb. Always auxiliary or her helping verbs needs a main verb in the sentence. Is that not a... Uh, exist alone or you cannot use them you cannot use them alone in a sentence as a verb that's why they call us helping verbs their function is to help always with a main verb so between the two we need a main verb and between the two the verb is affect that's why we use affect number two the pollution in the city had a bad effect on us our subject is pollution we have a verb had so we don't need this one. We will use effect. That's why our answer is effect. So what's the meaning of effect here? Impact. The pollution in the city had a bad impact on us. Number three. The effect of the strong typhoon was unusual. So in this case, we use effect. Why? Because there is already a verb. We use it as our subject here. The effect of the typhoon, the effect of the typhoon was unusual. So, effect, effect, effect. Okay, let's try this. What is the correct answer between effect and effect? The principal's new rules blank the school. Our subject is new rules or the principal's new rules. So, we are looking for the verb. So therefore, the answer between the two is affect because this is a verb. The principal's new rules affect the school. It means the new rules of the principal influence the school. Number two, they continue to study the blank of war on drugs. Okay, this is our subject, continues our verb. Now, we have already a verb, therefore we do not need to use this one. We will use effect. They continue to study the effect of war on drugs. Now, it means the influence, the impact. They continue to study the influence or impact of war on drugs. Number three, the frequent rain showers will blend my plants. Okay, what's our subject? Rain showers. We have our verb, but this is an auxiliary or helping verb. We need the main verb in order to complete its meaning. Now, between the two, affect is the verb, therefore we will use affect. The frequent rain, shower, rain showers will affect my plants. It means will influence something, will have an impact on my plants. Okay, for our last pair of words we have afflict and inflict what is the difference okay both of this verb both, both both of these words are also verb afflict is a verb inflict is a verb the difference is if it's afflict the focus is to the one who is suffering while inflict the focus is to the one who causes the suffering and left. Okay. Another thing, the easiest way, is afflict is used with preposition with, while inflict is used with preposition on. If there is a preposition with, use afflict. If there is a preposition on, use inflict. Let's analyze these examples. The knife inflicted grievous wounds on him. Who, who's, who is suffering? Who is suffering with grievous wounds? He. Now, which causes the suffering? The knife. That's why we use inflict. And there is a preposition on. That's why we use inflict. In this case, 
It is in the past tense. Number two, she was severely afflicted with food poisoning. Who is suffering with food, with food poisoning? It is she. So, the focus is on the one who is suffering. She, that's why we use afflicted. Another, there is a preposition with, that's why we use afflict. Number three, a severe punishment was inflicted on them. Which causes, which causes the suffering? A severe punishment. Who is, suffer, who is suffering with a severe punishment? They. So, we are focusing with the one that causes suffering with severe punishment. That's why we use inflict. And there is a preposition. On. That's why we use inflict. So, in this case, it is, it is in the past tense. Okay? So, let's try these sentences. Which is the correct answer? Afflict or inflict? Number one, Edward is blank, blank with serious family problem. Who is suffering with serious family problem? Edward, the one who is suffering, therefore afflict. And there is a preposition with. That's why the answer for this is afflict. Here, my brother blank a severe wound on the tip. Okay. Who causes a severe wound? Who causes the suffering? My brother. To whom? To the thief. Okay. That's why our answer is inflict. And there is a preposition on. So, we can say that my brother inflicts a severe wound on the thief. Okay. Number three. The new policy could blank more harm on Africans. Who is suffering more harm? Africans. But the focus is which causes which causes the suffering? The new policy. The new policy causes the suffering more of more harm on Africans. That's why we use inflict. So the new the new policy could inflict more harm on Africans. There is a preposition on. Again, the answer for number one is afflict because there is a preposition with. Number two, the answer is inflict because there is a preposition in. My brother inflicts. Number three, the answer is inflict because there is a preposition on. Okay? So, that's all for today's episode. I hope that you have gained knowledge. You have learned again from our discussion. And for our next episode, we will discuss the following. Pairs of words. I'll and I'll. Advice and advice. Adverse and averse. And that is for our episode 3. Okay. That's all for today, guys. And if you have questions and suggestions, write your comment below. And do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Before I finally end, I want to thank my uh, creative team. They are Jan Apollinar for intro video number one, Fred De La Rosa for intro video number two, Alessandra Velasquez for intro video number three and for all the thumbnails of my videos I would like to thank Jeff Florino and shout out sa aking anak-anak ang sakabso Jasper Yancy ayan sinatawag na ka okay thank you goodbye see you on our episode 3